Three years ago, Henry's age was six years more than twice the age of Mary. The average of their ages from that time and the present is 30 years. What would Mary's age in years be in five years time? All right, so the answer here is 25. And let's go ahead and explore this, my party people. Let's go ahead and get this done the right way. So let's go ahead and just look at what we're discussing here. We're talking about uh, two people, Henry and Mary. And what we're trying to figure out is Mary's age in five years. So one thing I can do is represent their current ages with variables. That way I can create equations or, or create expressions or whatever I need to do to figure this out. So I'll say Mary's age, I'll, I'll label that with M. And for Henry's age, I'll just label that with H. And now pay attention here because this is going to get a little ugly. Because let's go ahead and highlight that first sentence. Three years ago, Henry's age was six years more than twice the age of Mary. Watch this now. So how do we, how do we express that? Well, I know that was is just the past tense of is. And if I'm writing an equation, is, was, will be, yields, is the same as, equals, all of that means equals. And now we'll look at this. Three years ago, so that's Henry's age three years ago. Because Henry's current age is H, three years ago it'll be H minus three. Was, again, equals six years more than, so something plus six, twice the age of Mary, that's double Mary's age. Now be very careful about how you write this because this is actually incorrect. It should actually be two times M minus three. Because again, we're discussing three years ago. So everyone's age, minus three. So if that got you there, then pause the video and continue on from where we left off right here because I want you to be able to do this problem on your own. Now, <laughs> there we have it right here. This is one equation. Now, let's go ahead and find another equation. Because again, if I'm trying to find how old Mary's gonna be in five years, I can't do that with one equation because we have H and M, two variables. I can't do that. I need more information. So let's see if we can use the second sentence to really pull more information. The average of their ages from that time and the present time is 30 years. Okay, let's use blue here. Because I know average, average is add everything up, divide by the number of numbers, and you get your average. So, some way, somehow, the average is 30. How many ages are we adding up? Because the average of their ages at that time, so three years ago, so three years ago, Henry was H minus three years old, Mary was M minus three years old, so those are two ages. And the present, okay, so Henry now and Mary now. That's one, two, three, and four. So four ages. The average of four ages is 30 years. So one more time, let me just review this so that we really have this down. We're talking about their ages three years ago. Henry and Mary three years ago, and their present ages, Henry and Mary. We take the average of those four ages, we get 30. So hopefully we're good there. And now we can see that, hey, we can go ahead and solve this thing. First, I would love to get rid of that denominator of four, just to make sure that I have nice linear equations here. So I'll go ahead and multiply four onto both sides of my equation. Again, resulting in a cancellation on the left side, 30 times 4 gives us 120. Okay, so far so good. And, well, let's just go ahead and, yeah, let's just distribute, you know, let, let's let's simplify here, because this is, you know, there's a lot of parentheses here. We, we don't want to deal with all that. So, first and foremost, let me just move this down a little bit. Let me deal with this top equation. Let's distribute. So, 2 times m is 2m minus six plus six. 
So I see here that our sixes will eliminate, giving me, and I'll just rewrite it, h minus three equals two m, just like that. And I can actually get h by itself here. I can get, um, adding three to both sides, I can get h equals two m plus three. So that's the relationship we have. We have that uh, Henry is three more than twice the age of Mary. That's what that states right here. So how can we use this? Well, this age also appears here and here, which means that 2m plus 3 can be replaced into both of those terms. And that's exactly what I'll do. I'll do that in purple. Substitution. And remember, folks, we are looking for Mary's age in five years. So we're looking for M plus five. That is what we're looking for, M plus five. So keep your eye on the prize here. Let's go ahead and get that done. If I use substitution, I'll have first here, 2M plus three minus three. Then we have M minus three. Then H, which is 2M plus 3. And then M, which is just Mary. And there we go. And that's supposed to equal 120, just like we said it would. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and make everything else a little smaller now, because now we're just going to get algebraic. We're just going to, you know, get computational here. Very procedural, very, very, very procedural. All right, let's combine our like terms. We have 2m, m, and 2m, and m. So that's 2, 4, 5, and 6. So 6m. Next, we have 3 and negative 3 cancels out. 3 and negative 3 cancels out. Nothing else remaining. So we just have 6m equals 120. So then if we divide both sides by 6, we receive m equals, and we see 20. So remember, we're looking for Mary's age in five years' time. We received Mary's age by itself. Now let's just add five. So in five years, Mary will be 25 years old. Just like that. And that's how we get that answer. It's a system of equations built in to this context. Very, 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 very sneaky here, right? But again, we have to realize instantly, instantly, that when we create that first equation, we need more information because we cannot solve an equation that has two variables unless we have another equation to reference or relate it to. So there we go. There you have it. If you have any questions, let us know. We're here to help.